What's going on guys and welcome back to the Blockchain Broadcast. My name is Joe with GameStarter and I'm here to bring you all the latest GameStarter news but also news from around the crypto and NFT spaces. Before we get started, if you like this kind of content and you want to stay up to date on all the latest news, be sure to smash that like button, give us a subscribe and follow along for all the latest updates. That being said, let's dive right in. First of all, we have to address a very important community concern that is at the top of our priority list to fix. We recently had an initial offering by Coliseum and like a lot of you, we were very concerned with the way they handled the token distribution. The team delayed the tokens by 90 minutes, which obviously affected the way that our community members were able to access and manage their tokens in an optimal way. We know as well as anyone that timing in crypto is so important and 90 minutes can feel like an eternity when it means you don't have access to your funds. Our policy at GameStarter is to make sure everyone's treated fairly and also playing on the same playing field. And we expect the same from our projects that launch on our platform. That being said, GameStarter is opening a two week long refund period where we will buy back your ZM tokens and refund any of your funds. Those who purchase are obviously free to keep their ZM tokens if they so wish, but do know that there will be a refund option available and those instructions for the refund will be posted on our website in the near future. We apologize for any inconvenience or difficulties that this may have caused our community members. We truly do care about you, your funds, and your investments, and we will certainly try to do our best to make things right. In addition, we are examining opportunities to take legal action against Coliseum so we can recover losses both financial and reputational. We are also being proactive to make sure we resolve this issue and it doesn't happen again. And from here on out, we will be distributing our initial offering tokens ourselves. This way we can be sure that everyone will receive their tokens in a timely manner and should eliminate that risk for any delays. Moving on, we have an exciting announcement that we have our first initial offering launching on our platform that's not actually a game. We'd like to introduce to you Colnet. Colnet is an exclusive marketing launchpad allowing projects to optimize key opinion leader or influencer strategy by creating initial marketing offerings. The idea is to attract micro influencers to promote the project in exchange for the presale tokens. Not only is this an exciting first non-game project to launch off GameStarter platform, but it's also an exciting and innovative project in and of itself. Project registration opens in less than three days, so definitely go check it out on our website and see what you think. Next, let's talk about some exciting Dark Frontiers updates. Firstly, I do recommend going to check out the Dark Frontiers Medium page, where you can find the in-depth updates on all the latest developments that the devs have been working on. Their main focuses right now are to make the gameplay overall just smoother and more enjoyable, as well as a lot of quality of life and appearance improvements. We're seeing big user interface upgrades in the screens, the heads-up displays, icons, animations, etc. Lots of sound and soundtrack enhancements, as well as environmental asset improvements, a bunch of new enemy NPC models, and enhancements and improvements to the overall lore, item stats, and so much more. We're getting ready for our big influencer stream coming soon. And we cannot wait to share with you all the improvements that our amazing devs have been working on. Next, let's talk about the overall crypto market. Well, yesterday, Bitcoin had a nasty day dropping to the low 30s with Ethereum visiting the low 2000s. I've been in crypto for a little while now, and this was one of the most brutal days I've seen in a long, long time. We watched as thousands and thousands of Bitcoin made their way onto exchanges only to be dumped moments later, and we watched in horror as some of the smaller altcoins continued to get decimated. The US stock market has been having a really rough time, which has been having a huge detrimental effect on the overall crypto market. The Fed is trying to fight inflation and overall has been creating a relatively risk-off environment. Adding to the FUD, we saw UST, the stablecoin on the Luna network, actually get depegged from the dollar. What started as a small slip from 99 cents to 98 cents snowballed into a huge sell-off of both Luna and UST. At the bottom of the range, UST made it down to 61 cents per coin and is now sitting at around 75 cents. As you remember, the Luna Foundation had been buying Bitcoin to back their UST stablecoin, and as UST became depegged, they were forced to sell more and more of their holdings, eventually emptying out their reserves. This further added to the carnage of the day, increasing the sell pressure, and overall raising the fear in the market. As of now, we've got people trying to call the bottom, but also people saying that we've got a lot further down to go. With such uncertainty in the world, in US markets and in crypto markets, it's really hard to tell what comes next, but definitely take a step back to really consider what your plan is going forward. I personally have started dollar cost averaging into some of my longer term higher conviction plays, knowing that we could definitely drop lower. Now is not the time to try to play with leverage if you are not an experienced trader, but perhaps you could start planning for some opportunities to add to your long term spot positions. In some maybe more exciting news, El Salvador definitely bought the dip. They added 500 Bitcoin to their balance sheet at a cost basis of just over 30,000. Love him or hate him, you gotta admit the president has high conviction for Bitcoin in the long run, and I really hope that it rewards him handsomely in the future. And finally, one of the bigger NFT stories of the day, the NFT market showed some concern as it was revealed that the Azuki founder has abandoned three other projects in the past year. 
critics are calling these rug pulls or failed projects. Well, he has defended himself saying that he's delivered on all the things that they promised to deliver in those projects. The market was just not receptive to what they had to offer and ultimately he had to move on to the next thing. He and the rest of the Azuki team have doubled down on their commitment to the project and that they're here for the future of NFTs and Web3 and that they're not going anywhere. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you for this week's update. I hope you're excited for what we're continuing to build at GameStarter. I know the market right now is in fear and turmoil. We are doubling down on the commitment to GameStarter, the platform, and the community, and know that now is the time to build so that we can deliver the best value possible to our community. Thank you guys for believing in us, for sticking with us for the long run. We are doing our best to make sure we can deliver. Once again, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to join us on Discord, Twitter, and all the rest of our social medias so you can make sure to stay up to date on all the latest GameStarter news. Anyways, guys, I'm Joe from GameStarter. Started wishing you all the best in your blockchain endeavors. Peace.